So this is part two of cookies, um, keto cookies. Uh, we made the batch and the first one, and now, and I put them, I rolled them in a log and wax paper, and they've been in the freezer for about 15 minutes, maybe a little bit longer than that. I'm gonna pull the wax paper off, and I just have this log of cookie dough, um, similar to what you would buy the, hard, the high carbage stuff in the um, refrigerated section of the grocery store. We don't eat that stuff anymore. So I'm just gonna take it and slice it up. And her recipe, and I remember I was doing a double batch. So her recipe says you make 15 cookies. Um, this may make more or less than that. I'm cutting them maybe a quarter of an inch thick. They don't slice perfectly. They probably could stand to be frozen a little bit longer. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll shape them up. I do have them on parchment paper. Just find that low carb products bake better on parchment paper and generally you can find it on sale. It's not terribly expensive. It's something I used to think of as really expensive and it's a staple um, in our house now. And you can also buy it at Sam's Club, they're really, really big rolls. Remember I was talking, well, what I was talking about too, when I rolled the log out was keeping the ends fairly uh, flat. I'm gonna shape it just a little bit. Almond flour and alternative flours don't generally rise um, the way other doughs do. One of the reasons it's important to refrigerate this dough is because of the butter. It is a really nice kind of shortbread flavor. And so that's, um, keeping it uh, refrigerated will keep them from spreading so much. I'm gonna put them out. Again, they won't spread a whole, whole lot. Uh, I'm shaping them just a little bit, flattening them a little bit as I go. Almond flour <coughs> is, um, is predominantly the flour used in this recipe. And <coughs> it doesn't bake it very well. It doesn't do well at very, very high temperatures. And so 325, 350 is about as high as you wanna go. It will, it will burn. Um, I'm gonna spread these out. And I just, again, have this on a baking sheet. My oven is preheating already and I'm shaping them kind of as I go. My husband has been in and um, taken a couple bites and has approved of the dough. I had to shoo him out of the kitchen. Um, and then these are my end pieces. They're kind of little, so I'm gonna squish them together and reshape them so they'll be a fairly uniform size. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and when they get out, I will have a cooling rack and I will transfer the parchment paper to the cooling rack at first. They will be soft um, when they come out and they will kind of crisp up a little bit over time. If you like them crispy um, rather than a soft cookie and almond flour and, and alternative flour cookies tend to be soft. It's hard to get the crispy unless you're using uh, coconut, a lot of coconut flour or actually coconut, um, shredded coconut. That will give you a little bit of a crispy cookie, but it also gives you a coconut flavor, which some people, including my husband, object to. But the flatter you make these, the, the better the chances are you having them crispy. So if you like a soft, cakey kind of cookie, you will love these. Um, if you're not so much into the softer one, flatten them, which I'm doing, going back now and kind of flatten these, as you can probably see, then you want to flatten them. So again, they won't uh, rise very much, but they will um, be delicious, and they do get crisper over time. And you do want to store these in the refrigerator because of the almond flour. I'll give you an idea of what these look like um, just on the pan. So not terribly pretty, but you know they're for my family, and they'll love them. All right, let's pop these in the oven and we'll see what they look like in about 10, 15 minutes. Okay, it looks like the cookies are done and so we're gonna get them out of the oven. They cooked pretty quickly. And yes, that is my husband in the background without a shirt on. Here are the cookies. I'm gonna take them out of the oven and go right over here. And here is the cooling rack I've got ready. So I'm just gonna come down on our table and if I can put the camera down, I'll show you how simple it is to really just lift up the parchment paper, slide it over. Um, now, as they cool, I will take them and move them eventually over to, and here you go, there's a look. I'll move it just to the cooling rack. I'll move it off the parchment paper and let them cool. So they look amazing, but you can see they're, they're pretty soft, especially as I try to pull them up. They're pretty soft. This one got a little brown 
and they did cook at 350 for just under 10 minutes. So um, I think anybody who tried these probably would not recognize, sorry, I think anybody that tried them probably would not recognize them as a low carb cookie. They're just that good. Uh, somebody with pretty sensitive taste might, but you get an idea there how soft they are. And this guy is about to fall off. And you see there, they're kind of cake look, like looking. Um, and they will firm up as they sit and cool. I hope that if you try this cookie recipe, you enjoy it as much as me and my family.